Can you go away, mom? Yeah, yeah, I'm just taking this. Hold on. Let me see if you have glasses. Okay, go. Oh. So I checked out that Illuminations Mario movie is now titled Super Mario Brothers, according to the studio's official website. I checked out, we've been swapped about why it's going to be a remake of the 93 movie that this Mario movie will mark the 30th anniversary of the said 93 movie with the same name. According to the website, it could have been delayed. I'm guessing it was supposed to come out on December 21st, 2022, but they pushed it up to April 2023. I'm guessing they didn't want to conflict with Pussy Boots The Last Wish. So, despite this movie being absent from its Christmas release, I'm guessing Avatar The Way of Water would take its place. I know there's no single teaser to where the hype is going. I'm noticing it's coming out on April 7th, 2023. Like I checked out uh, about the Pussy Boots movie. So there's a few interesting hints about the release info. The release info of where this movie would celebrate. So I'm guessing the 93 movie came out on May 28, 93. Speaking of 1993, I'm also checking out on the 2023 movie. As I know, it's coming out on March 24th, 2023 in Sweden and Australia. For both of them, we'll get a March 2023 release date. But it will go worldwide in Canada from April 2023, from April 7th. All of them get it for Lithuania, Turkey, and USA, and Japan will get April 28. So, in Australia, they'll call it Super Mario Bros. the movie. Well, it will be a market based title for both UK, Canada, and Australia. But, but the French title, for some people, they'll call it Mario Bros. Lee Film. That's alright, but. All I can say is this is going to be based on the the somewhat iconic 1985 video game the same name. I'm guessing it's going to be true. I know this game is a classic, but why the heck is Chris Pratt in this movie? Well, this movie isn't what I expected to see, but there's an interesting Easter egg. Did you know that Seth Rogen originally appeared in that one movie that you remembered seeing, which was Chippendale Rescue Rangers? So let me find out what is going on with the cast. Oh, there he is. We all knew that Canadian-American actor Seth Rogen, who was from Vancouver, is involved in a movie about the Ninja Turtles. So... We found an interesting Easter egg. Now let me dive down into the movie and see where I could find it. Hmm. Hmm. Where's his directing role? Hmm. Let me review. Let me review this. The review. The. The TMNT Mutant Mayhem. No, go. Now, let me see some interesting hints. I checked out the the, the the picture itself, and there, I found it. I found out that Super Mario Brothers, the movie, is productively foreshadowing TMNT Mutant Mayhem. Now, all I can say is, in my personal review of this logo that I saw last month, let me see the connections of how I can put some pieces of the puzzle. I know there had some ties about what I saw. I know Charlie Cox, the famous actor who did Daredevil, is going to be involved in this movie with Vincent John Fronio into his grip. So I'm guessing... The Ninja Turtles were all mentioned in Spider-Man No Way Home. Like I've learned 
about Matt. Yo, Charlie's character Matt states that uh, he mentions about his time, about when he was a kid, his jar got hit by a canister and the turtles were created by Matt himself from a, from a ooze that, tur that saved them from dying in the sewers. And Splinter the Rat just founded them just from the moment he ran away after his sensei Hamato Yoshi died because of the Shredder. He killed him and there you go. I noticed that the Shredder killed Splinter Sensei Hamato Yoshi in the 2003 series. I'm guessing he had some ties with it. But all I can learn about this one, what are the weird connections about this one? Well, my weird connections with this thing I've been involved in, there's something that is going wrong about the whole production foreshadowing thing. Like, for Matt, he mentions that there were five turtles, Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Donnie, and Jenica, being exposed to a substance, and I couldn't believe their maker, Matt, has gone missing, and, and I couldn't believe... What is going on with the production foreshadowing? And I noticed why Seth Rogen is involved, but I'm guessing Charlie Cox was considered for the role of Donkey Kong, but he stepped down, and Brie Larson was considered for Princess Peach. That could be better, but we would have gone to get uh, probably Robert Pattinson as Mario. He would have been a much more brooding, more darker, more edgier version of Mario than what Matt Reeves could have directed this movie. Or maybe it would have been Ted to Cameron. Well, I'm guessing it could have been Ben Affleck, but he's married to Jennifer Affleck right now. So, I'm guessing Donkey Kong is kind of the Ninja Turtles. Is that very strange? So, let me tell you the real truth about it. All I can realize about the logo what I describe I describe this logo as a interesting idea of what I saw in the 2003 logo. There's black and red textures up there, over there spelled Teenage Mutant Ninja, but the E and the M are stretched up, and this bit is a separate piece of its own. They're just weird hooks, and there's Jet Set Radio-esque graffiti spelling the word turtles, and some goosebump styled captions titled Mutant Mayhem. This sounds like a cool idea to put a little bit of Spider-Verse into it. I mean, Spider... Wait, 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 I need to pronounce it. I've got it all right about this movie, but... So, what can I learn my lesson from? But, you know, I ran out of ideas, but... We'll try it again. All I can realize that what do I think of this logo? What do I think it will it would appear in an Easter egg cameo during the movie? Ugh. I'm guessing we have to think of it. I'd probably run out of ideas. But you know what they say, that's or I can learn from my mistakes. Uh, you know, bye-bye.